Hi, I'm Chef Jorge De La Torre, Dean of Culinary Education at Johnson Wells University. And I'm here today with my uh, teacher assistant, Alex Williams, and today we're gonna make zucca in agrodolce, which means sweet and sour squash. I'm a big fan of sweet and sour and balance of flavor, so today we're gonna take squash. The squash is coming in right now. Um, it lasts into the fall, but I think it's a great dish to ha have as a side dish for meats, because we have a little sweet, we have a little sour. It's a great combination to go with uh, some rich grilled meats or on its own, it's great too. So we'll start here. So what I've been doing is I've been cooking in some olive oil. I have an acorn squash. I put a little olive oil in there, made some little wedges like that. You do not have to take off the peel. The peel is, or the skin, I mean, you don't have to peel it. It's really, really nice. It softens up, it's edible. That's what I like about the acorn squash. All you had to do was really seed it. And now that we get it, you know, it takes about seven or eight minutes and uh, move on each side, get it brown. You can see nice and toasty like that. We'll mix it. And when you do a thin like this, it doesn't take that long. So it took about, like I said, seven minutes to get to a nice soft wedge. <clears throat> I think this one, perfect. All right, so now that it's getting soft, we're gonna add garlic. So I don't wanna add garlic too much in between. So because I'm thinly slicing it, I don't want it to burn. So we're gonna add that. We'll let it go around. And like I said, since it's so thinly sliced, thanks, good job. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and uh, it won't take too long. I just want them to brown to release their flavors. I don't want them to get burnt, then they get bitter, kind of acrid. So I really just tr try to be careful with the garlic. As soon as it hits the pan, you can just really yeah. smell it nice and fragrant. Right, we, you still haven't worked on smell-o-vision? <laughs> no? All right, be a million dollars. So what I'd like to do is now it's the agrodolce, the sweet and sour. So uh, you can use any, you can use red wine vinegar, uh, sherry vinegar, um, those are nice flavored vinegars. If you were to use like just white vinegar, it's maybe too much. Yeah. So I like to uh, use these flavors. And I have a red wine vinegar in here. I'm gonna reduce, that's fine, we'll turn it down a little. And we're gonna add some honey, so that's the, we added the sour, now we're gonna add the sweet. We're gonna kind of try to coat. And it's gonna make its own little sauce. We're gonna coat the squash. The squash already is a little sweet in and of itself, but when we add that vinegar, <clears throat> uh, it definitely really tarts it, makes it nice tart. And, and so it's good to add a little honey. You could use agave if you wanted, uh, but I, I love the honey piece. And now we're just cooking it down to a nice glaze so it can be a nice little sauce. Gonna start plating it nicely. We also seasoned the, <clears throat> with a little salt and pepper already to the squash. So we'll move that aside. And then we'll drizzle with a little sauce. have a nice dish here and what we've done is we've so now we have some cooked we have some hot sauce it's always nice to like I said to play on flavors and to play so it always needs a little freshness you probably in your garden have mint that is running rampant you're wondering what else to do with it so I always like to add a little fresh mint and basil they're both of the same family so they kind of go well together basil again from other class is the king of mints Basil in Greek, remember, is 
king, and it's from the mint family, so they kind of go well, they kind of play off. And now you have a fresh, cooked, and a nice sauce. We'll add a little more salt at the end to perk up this flavor. And there you go, Zuka Inagro Dolce. Enjoy. You can find this recipe and all recipes at our website. I'm Chef Jorge De La Torre from Johnson Wells University. Let's dig in.